the member for Fadden. Thank you, Mr. A personal explanation. Does the member for Fadden claim to have been misrepresented? Once again, most egregiously, Mr. Speaker. The member for Fadden may proceed. Fairfax have been running a campaign over the last two weeks with three stories alleging my election ten years ago was contrary to Section 44 of the Constitution, and that our personal family trust and trustee company was somehow nefariously managed. Can I say, when I entered Parliament ten years ago, our business affairs were appropriately structured to ensure complete compliance, and this, of course, was tested through party vetting. The sale of our company was then completed Members almost on my left. half a decade ago. Fairfax also alleges that my father was not running our family company when the directors changed, that I was, even though the trust wasn't doing very much. I will seek to table shortly copies sourced from our chartered accountant of annual trust resolutions signed by the directors, my parents, for multiple years during this period. My father is a sophisticated investor and even today runs a very successful business. Fairfax names him at 80 years of age, of which his age is irrelevant unless Fairfax is trying to make an ageist point about competence. All of this is based on a single call last night by a Fairfax journalist asking opaque questions to my father, who is currently caring for mum, who is just discharged in hospital after a second heart attack. So, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table the aforementioned trust resolutions that shows that Fairfax articles are a complete load of rubbish as is the member for Fenner's politically motivated letters to ASIC based on the same rubbish. Is leave granted, the manager of opposition business? From us, leave's granted. The member for Fadden may table the documents. The Leader of the House with papers.